the real imaginary axis, the side we have the real axis and going up and down we have the imaginary axis. So if a complex number, that complex number is Z is A plus IB. If you look at the complex number and you realize that, okay, it lies on the first quadrant, your theta will simply be a ton of the imaginary part. So quick comment. The imaginary part is whatever which is multiplying the I. And the real part is whatever which we are adding there. So if you plot your complex number and you realize that my A is positive and my B is also positive, it means it's in the first quadrant, then your theta will simply be the arctan of B over A. So that's done. So if you plot your complex number and you find out that it's in the fourth quadrant, on the fourth quadrant. So in the fourth quadrant, you will expect, you're looking here, your A should be greater than zero, but your B should be less than zero. So if your A is greater than zero and B is less than zero, then clearly we're in the fourth quadrant. And your theta, which will give you is the right answers, is simply going to be the arctan of B over A. You take A as it is, and you take B as it is. B is whatever which is multiplying the I sign. And your theta will be whatever value you get there. This is the fourth quadrant. And then quickly, we are now in the second quadrant. So second quadrant, your theta will be